first of all, wow, this library is truly interesting to look at and possibly implement into your application. I haven't added this into my application yet. Uh, I soon will. So let's just actually go through some of the components of this UI library and see what we can actually do with it because they support Next, they support React, Tailwind, Frame Emotion, all into one component. So let's take it a look. We've got a lot of testimonials of people saying that it's really good. So uh, let's start off with the MacBook scroll. So you can add this to your website. And uh, wow, so on scroll, and if you're doing something like a SaaS, I don't even know what to say, that looks truly amazing. They can show you how to do it as well. And they've got the code here to show you how to do it, the MacBook scroll, as you can see there. So we just can come over here, scroll down a little bit so we can actually see what we're looking at. Okay, so we've got scroll Y, use scroll, looks like it's a custom hook, using the window uh, property and using a method to kind of understand the width of the application, the website, so that we can make that decision of translating the Y and the X of the website. Sorry, this is really fascinating to look at. Like I've never seen people use this. Like I've never seen, like I've seen this, but I've never, I never knew how to do that. So this really gives you a heads up. And I think I actually don't even know how this, this works a little bit, but it's using the windows property to calculate the X and the Y axis to identify when you scroll, it shows that animation. It shows that frame of motion effect, right? I'm assuming it's frame of motion because you can see here they're using it. So that's really cool and they got their own custom properties. So a 3D card effect. Wow, look at that. That's uh, interesting. Animated tooltip. Oh, wow, okay. Now that is uh, cool. Background gradient. I mean, you can just do that with regular CSS. I don't see why you would need that. Still, very cool. Very cool. Long code. Yeah, they're using frame of motion. Oh, okay, I can, I can see how this would be used for that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually really cool. Uh, I like this. This is cool. Let's have a look. Glowing stars. Okay. Yeah, no, so that's, that's also interesting. Images slider. Yeah, that's the thing about sliders. We, we don't actually get enough of that. So, oh, okay, you can see in the background, that's pretty cool. Infinite scrolling moving card, that's pretty cool. Lamp effect, build lamps the right way. Okay, yeah, I mean, oh, wow, okay. That is uh, interesting. I've actually, I've actually never seen that before, like in regards to web design like that. That's, that's interesting. I'm actually going to kind of look at this in my spare time and actually play around with this library. I'll post more videos on like this stuff like this, my findings and things on which I find on Twitter maybe, or just anywhere. And I'll post a video on it. I just wanted to show this because I thought it was really interesting because I've never seen a UI framework include any of these aspects, right? Or design trends, right? So this is very useful to have. And I like this, so they've got a, they've got this, right? They've got the uh, nav bar here, which is really cool, right? Nav bar menu, parallax scroll effect. Oh my goodness, just look at that. Look at that, that is like crazy cool. Okay, sign up form. I like whatever that was. Oh, it's just, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, that's cool. All right, okay, let's have a look. That's also cool. So you, for like a SAS, you could have something like that. Spotlight. That's also really cool and interesting. So obviously this is done with React. And oh, wow, look at this smooth animation type right effect. That's really cool. Yeah, so honestly, I would recommend this 
as well if anyone is interested in using this at all you know so yeah take a look at it i'll put it in the link description and they also have a installation process for you so you can go through it yourself so that is it and they use tailwind with it too which is really nice it's very nice using utility classes because it's just easier to write and just manage so oh wow they actually got a multi-step loader too okay now that is cool now okay that is cool i've i've never yeah okay i'm definitely i'm definitely using this for my portfolio or something that's cool that i will take note anyways thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more uh, content like this just stay tuned subscribe and i'll see you in the next